folks, a little PSA. Please do not shoot the weather radars. We need those. Yes, really. Apparently, the National Weather Service has been getting some threats towards their weather radars. This reported by my old boss, Andrew Friedman, who's now at CNN. The Weather Service is now recommending their technicians don't go to radar sites alone. There's a group called Veterans on Patrol who wants to, quote, take as many NEXRAD sites offline as possible. For background, weather radars are those big soccer ball looking things that allow meteorologists to track storms. They emit pulses of energy that go and bounce off precipitation, i.e. rain, hail, whatever, and they come back to the radar, and so we see where the storm is. We've had these things since 1988. Nationwide, we have 159 of them. This is nothing new. Unfortunately, it's the latest new conspiracy theory. These same folks believe that Hurricane Helene last year was created by the government. Frankly, you don't have to be a meteorologist to know that human beings don't create hurricanes. You just have to have passed third grade. Unfortunately, being uneducated is now fashionable and trendy. It's popular. We live in a society where people believe that ordinary Delta flights are spraying mind control agents. Years ago, only crazy Uncle Larry believed the Earth was flat. Now even that's becoming mainstream. And even popular online bloggers are bragging about speaking languages only they can understand. Frankly, if you're gearing up to go attack a weather radar, I have someplace else you might consider going instead. And remember, choosing to be stupid is your constitutional right. Attacking the weather radars that serve us all is not.